I would have no. set my uh, healing potions by the fire to see if it'll fall. It certainly will, yeah. Yeah, put all of our drinks all in that by the fire. Uh, do I know what the freezing point of the liquid is in our um, UTs? Oh, the canisters? Um, oh, it's, yeah. Yeah, it, it's, it's probably not going to happen. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so... Yeah, compressed gas when it's used becomes fucking freezing. Okay. Because the the point of the gas is it superheats the liquid. Mm -hmm. So it, it might be smart to keep them a little bit warm at first, just so it's not frozen and it doesn't like shatter. But it's mm -hmm. actually I don't know that you ever looked into what the liquid was. Although you were tinkering with it, so you might. I was. It did say it, and I don't know if you remember it. Well, smart check. That oh. does sound like, oh, like, a, a like a history or an investigation. Uh, uh, they're seven. both the same. They're both the same. Uh, let's. Oh, we'll call it a, like a dec Oh my god, you suck! It's so Come cool. On. <laughs> it's a once per day thing, right? Yeah, it's a once per day thing. Ammonia yeah, and carbo it. carbon there we go. dioxide. Yeah. Ammonia and carbon dioxide is what's in the canister. Damn. But the liquid is lithium and liquid arsenic. Did I write that down and read the wrong section? So it's yes, I read the wrong super, section, son of a bitch! Super poisonous, but also has a really low melting point. Yeah, I, I researched this because I assumed y'all were going to fact check me on it. I just assumed you were. <laughs> you, I'm you not playing the artificer, so uh, don't care. We're not gonna uh, yeah. big brain it. I'm not big brain in anything. I'm just. <laughs> I I had to learn how hydraulics work, guys. Okay. <laughs> Why do you right, do you this can, to yourself? Uh, you You're can go go register that shit. for a minor with with your college. All right, go have fun with that. Oh, got a gun, go burr. <laughs> so anyway, go and check up your you, right. <laughs> you have this information. You 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 ever called it? You know what it is. Um, yeah, it, I think it melts up. 350 degrees. It's something stupid low. Like, it yeah. boils stupid low. Interesting. Which, which is why I chose it. Hell yeah. Wait, so the... But, uh, so the UTs don't fucking work. Is that what, is that what I'm gonna yeah, get? They no, 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 they absolutely they work. They they they're they're they no, okay, okay. no danger of freezing. Okay, okay, that's great. Unless they're, like, submerged in water that's freezing, you're probably fine. Okay. Got it. Throws UT oh. into frozen lake. You, yeah, you <laughs> dethaw. Uh, do y'all do watches? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. There's like so many but... of us. <laughs> There's the black watch, my dude. <laughs> there would be uh, like four of us per hour, and we'd be fine. Before we like turn in for the night and start doing watches, I think Halbjorn is going to do something we probably should have done before we left, but I forgot, so we're doing it now. Uh, where he <laughs> will. Uh, gather uh, the team around the fire after the sun is set and recite. Kinda. <laughs> yeah, he, he will perform a an hour long ritual, which you know sounds like a long time, but you know ceremonies one hour, so whatever. Um, yeah, which can be done during a short or long rest. It's probably gonna be the long rest. Um, and yeah, he he uh. Paints these symbols on his shield in that red paint that he carries with him. Uh, he recites in like I, I imagine it's like an old, old Marnish language that like no one speaks anymore. Does that sound right to you? Will? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, yeah. He even speaks in that. Even with the natural the Mar Marnish were nothing if not proud, mm -hmm. so they would definitely hold their dialects. Okay, perfect. So yeah, I do have like a, a short blurb here, just to kind of show what it sounds like. Where he, uh, as he's painting these symbols uh, next to the fire, uh, re reciting this as he looks into uh, each person's eyes, uh, switching between them with each word. Taimir, uh, Himnir, Promnir. Kenderheim, Oskanda unhelt, Volhir, Eindwindewar, 
on nöldur jettir, frún kál hér, ás fisk fjörnum bjer. Wash, rinse, repeat until the hour's up, and he dons the shield. He does not elaborate. <laughs> that's a, that's something your father taught you. My father, grandfather. It is. It is a common practice among warriors to forge a bond with those who would fight and die by your side. Do you still understand what the words mean? Or is it just something intrinsic to who you are that you just do it? Are you asking if I speak the language? Effectively. <laughs> I'm afraid it's lost to me. Mm. But I know what the words mean. It's something you feel. <laughs> Just nods. <laughs> yeah, and says something in Draconic. What? <laughs> it's, uh, it, it means I understand. It's a similar thing. <laughs> Why didn't you just say that? <laughs> I, I was in the moment, you butt. <laughs> uh, uh, Lucian says in Draconic to uh, Brad, your Draconic is garbage. What? Excuse me, I speak this naturally, you little bitch. <laughs> Always gone for two minutes, so anything from henceforth isn't canon. What? <laughs> Alright, I murder Lucian, I shove him into the okay, right. <laughs> Gregor just looks back and forth between them all speaking like these weird languages he doesn't understand. He's like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I talked to Dorn and like, you seen? I learned common for nothing. What the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> we just have to teach Gregor all of our languages so he's a lexicon. Oh boy, what you guys teach me common? That one sounds cooler. <laughs> Gregor becomes a Rosetta so. <laughs> well, Did the one's gonna be right, be right back now. Be right back. <laughs> God, I need water. Be right back. Let me get water. Yeah, I'm not leaving. Good. Well, you're the only one, Alec. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all quiet now. Hello. I didn't leave. Everyone else left. Okay. Hey, did you know um, tonight, yeah. apparently, in like two hours, there's going to be something like a bl flowering blood moon eclipse? Huh? What bloodborne shit is this? Which is like something you'll probably never see in your lifetime again. Okay. Curse tonight. What, yeah. what the flowering? fuck? Yeah, and it happened. My wife just told me, so we went outside to look at it. Real quick. Is it happening right now? Uh, in in about two hours. So one my time, whatever that is, your time. Actually, I yeah. know it's your time. Um, it'll be happening, like in full effect. What the fuck? What's happening? Tonight there is a flowering blood moon eclipse. <gasps> That's it. <mean? laughs> Which is apparently super, super duper rare. Dude, when, 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 when? Uh, About two hours. Two hours from now. Aww. Oh. Shit. I'm back. It's gonna be right. so fucking neat. Right? It, if you look at the moon now, there's like a big haze in the middle of it, so it looks like it almost like has like a round in the middle of the crescent. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. The blood oh, is it like some like moon phase something, ha something happening right now? Yeah, it's called like a flowering blood moon eclipse. <laughs> that's that's gonna like be a, a that's like a Dark Souls or a Bloodborne move. Yeah, I was just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or an Ash of War. <laughs> that's, 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 that's totally a fucking like, blood moon. Moon. Uh, totally, <laughs> totally not stealing that thing I just learned about for someone's weapon flare. <laughs> <laughs> flowering blood moon. Eclipse. Eclipse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that, right. that, that's, that's, that's what Gregor's weapon move is called, though. That's like, that's super, actually. Anyway, yeah. that's it. Everyone back? 
Uh, Garf just went off. Yep. Katie, um, you here? Uh, Katie? Is it going to know? Nope. Alright, so this besides is... then, let's do some watches. Who's no. up first? Technically, none of you will probably even have to go, but... Y'all could like have me for this, but I couldn't find the moon. Yeah, we could just have all the NPCs do watch, but then it'll just be Wait. you rolling a lot. So yeah, yeah Clint would refuse to do that. Would like, refuse to do a watch. Would refuse to not do watches. Like he's not oh, gonna okay. let other people do it. Yeah. Like won't insist then up tapping out. All right, y'all decide it real quick. I'm gonna go look at this through my wife's like ten magnavite lens. Oh, oh, yeah, so we can we can if set Dor like two or three of us on like four watches. If Doran is going to take a watch, I'll take a watch with him. Okay, okay so, okay, so yeah, yeah, maybe everyone pick your favorite NPC and do a watch. Erica. Okay, right. of course, yeah, of course. Your waifu. I, I'm claiming divs because I know fucking Clint's about to do it. Just to fuck with me. All right. <laughs> I, I, in Clint local. ain't interested in Erica. He's interested in Shania Shamash. Which is why he's throwing utter shit at, at everyone that hangs out with Erica because he knows it's going to rile you. It's, it's not working. So is is Bradford and Erica on first, or what? What watch are they on? Here, actually, you want? Uh, let's do. Let's do like yeah, four watches. Hey, hey, Brad, yeah. Bradford. Yeah, let's do four watches. Erica. Uh, we'll do uh Lucian and Doran. Dorn. If no one minds, I'll go ahead and do Hall, Bjorn, and Logan. It actually looks super cool. You can see the whole moon and just half of it's black. I'll, I'll do last with whoever. Gregor Arlo. with. Uh, uh, Arlo Arlo wants to. Briggy will insist that um, anyone with the heaviest armor go last. That the way y'all can get out as soon as possible in the morning mm -hmm. without delays. Okay, so. I'll be in last then. With, yeah. Uh, Logan. Uh, actually, Halbjorn didn't take the rest of his, so he's typically been wearing sprint mail. He's just wearing his breastplate. Okay, so you didn't take a heavy. No, nope, he... Brigitte, okay. Brigitte's wearing her uh, breastplate. She just has the rest of it packed away. Right. Halbjorn just doesn't have his picked. Nobody has like heavy on. Yeah. Well, no. NPCs well and so on, but. So. Uh. So what was Brigitte saying about? Heavy armor so, people should go last on the watch, so that way they'll have their armor already set up mid-watch, uh, and they can just head out. Okay, but nobody's wearing it, it sounds Yeah, like, but no one's so. wearing heavy armor for uh, Well, I mean, I guess in that case, uh, Logan has heavy armor, right? Uh, he He's also doing exactly what Bergie's doing. Alright, well, so I don't know. He just doesn't want to go last. Correct. Okay. Right, so, so me and... Me and Halbjorn could do third, and then Bergy and Logan could do last. Sounds good. Yep. All right, Is so Bergy with a Y? Correct. Y at the end, okay. uh, in the middle. Yeah. Although, I mean, you may have heard something. I don't know how perceptive y'all are. As characters or as points? Uh, no, as characters. Me no have perception training. When? I'll tell you what, we'll get into it. Um, I'll go and watch with a uh, caster. So, Bradford, go ahead and roll with advantage the first time. Sure, I can throw that on there. A yeehaw, a yeehaw. Oh, a you can do uh, third, oh. third, oh. Oh. <laughs> I see all. Unfortunately, it seems back. Yeah, yes, that no, is it a problem. Is. It is dead quiet. You just see Erica is um, measuring off a distance, has measured a distance in which to keep the uh, potions near the fire. That's so they don't boil, or? You don't want them to get too hot, especially from a non centralized heat, because it could cause them to become an error. All right, all right. But, if I've done my math right, which I know I have. Assuredly. The, the proper distance to say liquid. So what? 
Where did you learn all this from, anyways? Well, here I've learned a lot. Hmm. But my father was an alchemist. Oh, really? Correct. My mother was also a herbalist, so it sort of runs in the family. You certainly have the upbringing for it. So, can I ask why you ended up here and not just under their tutelage? Because they're dead. That would make sense. That, that, was a, that was a very bad question to ask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She just like looks at you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Happened to ever. Hey, you're not wrong. I should think about it. I'm pretty sure that's the same story for pretty much everyone here. Besides Logan. <laughs> that's only a slightly different story. She just like she gets a somber look. I bet he wish it was though. She just looks back to you, but that's beside. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not the best with conversations. <laughs> yeah, good. We're on uh, a freezing mountain, and some of you have said you've been noticed by something. Hmm. There's not going to be a lot to converse about. I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> she just like sort of snickers. Like, you see her, like, hold her mouth, like, trying not to burst out laughing and wake people up. Oh, you're being so you're being so polite, not waking them up. Because I'm being a big dummy dummy dummy. I'm, I'm glad you're so positive that it's going to work out. She does big air quotes all right. Eh... <laughs> uh. I just have faith in your intelligence and Clint's chattativeness and Holbjorn's guidance. Doesn't mean you're not afraid, but it'll be fine. Oh, I'm always terrified. Don't be <laughs> foolish. Hey, that's smart. <laughs> but it's good for you. Keeps you alive. Keeps me knowing my limitation. And then trying to surpass that, I'm assuming. God, no. I know my limitations. I'm not trying to surpass them. <laughs> but there is a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. She, like, God. sort of, like, scooches over to you. Say, we do uh, have a dark one here. What do you mm -hmm. say we make a deal? This is Continue. We should try to take one alive. I... Mm, mm, I'm not gonna say no. That's not easy. Especially with the travel back that we have to make with it. Oh, it doesn't need to go back. Uh -huh. I mean, none of our instructors need to know about this. You assume that they're not going to find out. And they'll admire my ingenuity. What was this whole thing just like two seconds ago about knowing your limits? Well, to know my limits, I need to know theirs. That makes them tick. Uh huh. You know, see what's inside. You're getting that look in your eyes. <laughs> Of mild obsession. But that's not exactly a bad thing. I don't know why. <laughs> she just blinks at you with her wide eyes, like. Ten years down the road, imagine yourself going into a near unwinnable situation, surrounded by fiends and night ones and dark ones and types one through fives. Would you rather have this information or not? I can't say it wouldn't be beneficial. 
So we have an accord. And she just like scoots back over. He looks looks mildly disappointed at the at the movement more than the, the accordance. Have you tried to throw up anyone else into this situation? No. He just looks at her with the most like, are you shitting me expression? When I had this idea, I thought of you first. You... You should really take some lessons from Clint. Fine, Doesn't I'll see matter. I something, do. something, not the journey, the destination. I don't know. <laughs> Cope with it however you need to. <laughs> he, he does laugh, but he tries to, like, smother it a bit. Um... Fine, I'll see what I can do. It's like, goes back to her mad scientist pose of like, twiddling her fingers menacingly together. <laughs> she is the fucking great. What? Uh, you watch Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And, uh, Lucian, you are up. Why don't you roll me a perception with advantage? Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, there's the oh, boy. Shit. Yo. Dude, wait, did you? Oh, my God, it's just Nat 20 Central. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is just dangerously quiet out. Mm hmm. Doran, did you um did you know that Julius has a uh, has a rope trick that actually lasts for longer than an hour? He secured his own pocket dimension so that he could just rest whenever he wants. And doesn't He's... have to be in the shithole of a place like this. <clears throat> you see like a perplexed look on his face? It can work that way. Apparently <laughs> It doesn't uh, disappear after an hour. It just uh, just perpetually exists until he, um, you know, decides for it not to. And when it doesn't, it uh, keeps all of his belongings in there. Doesn't spit them out, or it doesn't get lost to whatever dimension it was in. It just is. Did you mention the specifics? Perhaps it's something that's soul bound to him. Uh, I did not understand exactly. He said it was he. We had to like capture a demi demi plane or something along those lines. <laughs> it was really weird. The thing is, though, with uh, portals and such to a different demi plane. At least that's how I imagine rope trick working. Is the time dilation. I wonder how that works. Near instant travel to a different plane altogether. More so, does time work the same way in some sort of uh, demi plane that he's in? So, yeah. So, do you think it's like a transitory area between the domain? Hard to say. I've read just tinkerings, musings, nothing. Um, the con concrete, mostly older theories, recently after the fall, but that's um, certain areas, para. Um, how do you say? Um, so we are on the third domain, correct? Mm -hmm. The further you get out from the center, from the first domain, the domain of God, it because there's a larger degree it passes slower mm. with speculation of course mm -hmm. do you think you were on the third or past the third domain when you went to that wormhole you know there's a you do you, you see like the 
the look on his face of like genuine curiosity just like fade and become somewhat sullen. You know, there's a there's a a theory of time dilation. In uh, you go into wormholes, yes, you near. It feels near instant when you go into them, but to others, it could feel like a a long time. <laughs> it's uh, it's really interesting. I I've never really understood. It makes sense because the amount of travel it and time it takes to get to a certain place, it has to go somewhere. He just like looks. His gaze shifts from sullen to like defensive. Did someone say something? You did. I. I'm here for you if you need it. You do not have to talk about it, but. And I understand, it is a sensitive subject for you, but. If there are things that you think might be important, whenever you feel comfortable, you can always tell someone. It doesn't always have to be, be between you three, but what who am I to say? No one really knows what you three went through. He's not even looking at him as he's talking to him by the way he's working on his little grappling hook con uh contraption as he's talking about this you just like see out of his peripherals him staring at you before shifting his gaze back to the fire not like we were there for weeks There was something. The three of us have talked about it, and we all agree it's what happened, but it makes no sense. Mm. It makes no sense that you were there for weeks, sir. No. We all saw the same flash of light. Same slow formation of rock growing on top of each other and water formulating grass growing from it things beginning to crawl out of the sea time passed and it felt like ages before they learned to communicate grew together changed forms and became us kept going and going. And the wars and the famine and the disease and the destruction for the for it all turned to nothing. And then it was quiet. Quiet for far longer than I thought possible. That's that's surreal. <laughs> you bore witness to, I think what you're describing is the uh, theoretical beginning of time and evolution. Right? It wasn't like a, like a butterfly from a caterpillar. I feel like we created something new. But it wasn't right. None of it was. Hmm. You, you see he wants to say something more, but just stops. Doesn't matter. That's how the darkness works, the madness. And I thought I went mad. <laughs> Look, it's... I understand it's not easy. It probably... It might not even get easier. 
knowing what you know, seeing what you've seen. You just got to take things one day, one step at a time. And then, you know, <clears throat> maybe, maybe you'll learn to live with it. Maybe you'll accept it. <laughs> Seem to add more kindling to the fire. There's something out there that we don't know about. A lot of things, probably. It doesn't drive me mad. I want to know. But those things will come. And trying to seek them out constantly is going to tire you out. I know of a lot of things, but there's only so much that I can handle. Same goes for you. You just... No, you're right. You're probably just processing. Just take your time. Just like looks down and like scratches and you can see he's almost getting like a migraine from just thinking about it. Can you look at this for me? It's the little yes. grappling grappling hook I've been like, working on. Anything. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just gonna go over the the little grappling hook contraption I've been working on with him just to get his mind off of it. And it yeah. If we can end it right there, so that we don't have to talk about him doing any of that, that'd be nice. <laughs> so yeah, he he looks over what you've made and uh, notes, but like machinery is not his forte necessarily. But he does note where there could be, you know, mm -hmm. you you could add to it, match the machine with the uh, his specialty, enchanting. No, yeah, that's the. Uh... That's what I wanted to go over with him because basically uh, it's not like the one that we have now, the little barbs with the arrow at the end of it. It's more like the, the one where it has like four prongs and there's more like limbs to it. And it's almost in the shape of a spider. So that's where the enchanting would come in. Because I'd want it to be an automated spider that can is strong enough to kind of like move on its own while attached to it. But yeah, that's yeah, that's all I want. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I think that wouldn't be terribly hard. Yeah, it's just uh, yeah. You just need to soften the tips with something more sap-like, or perhaps. Um, a array of small curved hooks. Small curved hooks. That's 